Hey everybody, welcome to Weedy Rose Tale. It's your girl Rose, and I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly love and appreciate you guys. I figured I'd get some messages from your person. Oof. Um, so straight out the gate, you are their ultimate happiness. Okay, so whoever this person is to you, you are everything to them. Um, completion is here. They want to end this cycle. Um, they want to renewal damn near, but your person still has a lot of, a lot of bad habits and addictions that they have to shed. Um, Self-love is here and, pers and uh, preservation. It's almost like your person has to learn how to love themselves and not be so addicted to being in love with you. Uh, they can't stop thinking about you though. Oh, stop doubting yourself. It's here. You deserve better. So let's see what happened um, with your person. Why didn't this do what it needed to do? But either way, you are like their ultimate happiness, honey. Like they know they have a lot of bad habits. They know they got a lot of shit that they need to fix about themselves here. Um, three of Pentacles, they need to learn how to work with others and Page of Pentacles being here. Um, they need to seek a new skill when it comes to working with others, if that, that's a simple message. Like they need to figure out how to learn how to give even give and take to everybody uh, and not just themselves. But your person is, I know if this is divine masculine, but this is not, this somebody that's just not healing, um, but they're not walking away from you either. It's like they're not healing, they're not walking away. This is your twin. They do have an enlightenment about it, a new perspective. Um, I think your person has a new perspective of the way they've been treating you. When it comes to this Three of Swords, it's like they finally are realizing that if you were to treat them like that, they would never have taken you back. Very weird. Nine of Cups is here. Queen of Swords is here. Knight of Pentacles. You're no longer waiting on this person and your slow moving ass. Like, you're not waiting on their slow actions. Any of that. You're kind of at a self-fulfillment here. Um... Like, you're trying to fulfill yourself. You're no longer waiting on this person. This could be a fire sign for you. But this person plays a lot of games. What is, what, why was this person playing so many games with the collective? Like, what, what was the problem here, essentially? What was the problem? Balance. Accountability. And this new beginning. Um, every time you guys had a new beginning, your person needed to take accountability for their actions here it was like a balance in order for you guys to grow in order for y'all to move on to thrive and it was always ugh. your person talks themselves out of their own happiness if that makes sense although you're their happiness they may say things to themselves like i don't deserve you you know um she or he's probably cheating on me anyway um you know, why would you bring me somebody like this knowing that I wasn't ready for them? Like your person is always talking themselves out of their own happiness when it comes to you, damn near. Um, the hell? This person is very confused, but they, they, I think they're confused because they've never loved someone as much as they love you. It's time for me to heal now is here. I'm not available. I couldn't let you get close to me. Like this, they've never loved someone the way that they love you. The timing just wasn't right for us. Finding out the truth crushed me. I don't react when people mention you. It's almost like this masculine wears a mask just to kind of still have that uh, that image to others. It's like this person is really, um, they're really concerned about their image and how people look at them. You know what I mean? Like it's. It stands in a way. They don't even react when people mention you. Like, even when they should react, they don't. So it's obvious that this person is wearing a facade. <clears throat> what else does the collector need to know about this? They're very depressed about the way this ended with y'all. Um, they know that you no longer... They know that you understand the way that they treated you. You understand it. And so whenever they're offering it to you again, you don't want it. Um, you feel the depression and the regret every time. It's like, you know how you used to be and you know the mindset that they had you in when they had you in a relationship. So presently, you don't want nothing to do with that. It's like, I, I can't put myself in that position again. Hell no. 
Um, the tower is here. Everything changed. You got a newfound perspective with the high priestess being here and then the queen of wands. It's almost as if it changed your life in such a way that you're no longer who you was when you were in love with them. They are going to offer you love again, but I'm in a totally different deck and this three of swords is still here. Three of swords is still here. Who is this? Three of swords. Who is this three of swords for? Or what is this three of swords here for? Because there's somebody else here around your person. I love you with all my heart and soul is here. Okay, your person is regretful and depressed about putting you in a third party situation. Um, I don't even know why they did it because they love you with all their heart and soul. But they're truly regretful about treating you this way. Um, they're going to continue to offer you love. It could happen this week as well. But your desires are changing. It's like you no longer just want a sexual energy or a sexual relationship with this person. It's almost like sex can't pacify me anymore. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if this person may have pacified you with that in the past. Or that, that's their way of healing. They like to heal through sex. But you're not allowing that anymore. Yeah, this, is, this costs that person a lot. Um, they're spiritually bankrupt. It's almost like you were their moral compass in life and now they don't have a moral compass anymore. This person just has to learn that they got busted. Like, they, they, you found out everything. You found out their interior motives. You found out what they were doing, who this person was. You found out about a sexual connection that you didn't know about in the past. You had a true different uh, uh, insight. And yes, this was your twin. This person could have been an air sign for you, but... The problem with your person is they have no conscience when they're doing these things to you. There's no conscience, there's no moral compass. There's no stability here for you. Um, so it's, it's kind of like uh, jumping off a bridge and, and hoping you don't hurt yourself. You know what I mean? You know you're gonna hurt yourself. So why jump back into this? You know, um, regardless of how they feel, this is where they are. Um, what I wanna know, Will this person ever get to where they need to be? Will they ever change? Will this person ever change? Or what will it take? How about we start there? What will it take for this particular person to change? Oh, gosh. They have got to do the shadow work. They are their own worst enemy. They lie to themselves. There's a lot of self-deception here. This person is wearing a mask for themselves. You know, when a person is lying to themselves, shit can get real dicey. They have no problem lying to you if they're gonna lie to themselves, okay? The moon being here, this person could be a Pisces as well, but at the end of the day, there's so much that this person needs to uncover about their life, about their childhood, about things that were taught to them, things that they need to unlearn, things that they need to learn, inner understanding, understanding. There's so much for this person to uncover that it's almost like spirit is telling you your stock would plummet if you decided to take on this type of a project. Like, you, all your growth, all your spiritual ranking, this person would drain you of it because this is how far gone they are. This person has to have a serious awakening on their own that has nothing to do with you. Death is here. Whew. This is the ending. This is the end of this. We're turning the page on this. This person has to have a rebirth in order to be able to thrive with you. Like right now, they're not even allowed to be in your realm. It's almost like, um, mm, I don't want to say like, like you're you're like you're a star, a, a, a an angel from from the heavens, and you're you're dealing with someone that's a karmic. You know what I mean? Um, what you won't see coming is the betrayal. Okay. You can't balance betrayal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if this person is always going to be in this type of energy, you can't balance this. This is just going to hurt you a lot. Knight of Pentacles is here. They're going to always be moving slow and step slow towards you. So Spirit is saying, stand your ground and protect your energy. Okay, Divine One? Let's get an affirmation for you when it comes to dealing with this situation. Because this person has not changed. They have to have a serious awakening. You've had yours. But they have got so much self-deception and so much in, like internal um, conflict here that it's kind of like, you know, you can't put your, you can't be around that shit. You know what I mean? Like you too valuable to be around this type of shit, you know? 
Freedom is here. Free yourself from this and have patience. I possess the power and free will to create my own happiness and patience is here. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So know that this happens so that you can have your spiritual awakening and now it's time for your person to have theirs and you're not to interfere with that, okay? Humor, I choose to look at the lighter side of life. Now is the time for you to have some fun. You've been in this relationship and in all of this heavy ass energy for so long. It's time to free yourself from that and time to live your life and understand that this was a rebirth for both of you. You actually came out on top, but this person has to do their own work. They have to do their own work. They have to do their own work. It is not your responsibility to make them grow up, become a divine masculine, become a divine feminine. It's not your responsibility. The only thing that you can control is your life, okay? All right, guys, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so, so much for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.